COVID-19 pandemic greatly affects so many lives, not just the physical, mental, or social aspects of our lives, but even spiritual. This tragedy is so sudden that we are all caught unaware of its attack. Society suffers from alienation. The world is shutting down. Our homes become cages. Schools and workplaces lost their daily streams of people. Now who will stand in this time of trouble? the Lord for this opportunity that we could share to you the love of Jesus and his story based on our experiences especially this time of pandemic praise the Lord because God is still allowing and working in our hearts though there's a lot of challenges going on right now challenges through our physical emotional specifically our spiritual but still God is faithful and true to work in each and every one of our hearts yes that's true and during the peak of pandemic there are a lot of plans that were not been pushed through there were a lot of schedules that were being cancelled there were a lot of people who were hopeless depressed and we were even restricted to go to churches because of the lockdown that we experienced because of the pandemic and it seems it's endless and we cannot stop it anymore but still God is in control and God reminds us that if we come to him all this will be peaceful all of this will be come to an end in his time because the mission continues this pandemic we praise the Lord because he is really so limitless and his power is so amazing that despite of this pandemic the mission still continues and and no wonder god chooses different people with different professionals with different works and through this god hasten his coming yes each of us have a high and holy calling for his instruments and it's actually a privilege to be used by Jesus as his instrument in sharing his love to everyone and to bring the church to the people especially those who have not felt or experienced Jesus in their lives and most especially to bring and spread the good news that he is really coming very soon I remember those times before pandemic there's happy moments but afterwards it the pandemic comes we are depressed we are we are really need someone to talk to but god god's love is still there god's yes. love is still available to us a lot has changed yes but the love of jesus before today and even to the future will be the same yes and you praise the lord because this time of pandemic despite of it seems like a negative uh, mindset for the people but actually it's an advantage because in, just like if we are in Jesus like everything is really just so positive yes especially this time of pandemic we've been involved to different ministries 
We praise the Lord because He's been using any of us as His instruments to be involved in His ministry. Actually, the times that we are using for other things, material things, and even to, to the things that we wanted is minimized. But the thing is, we have a lot of time to share Jesus, a lot of time for Jesus. Yes, with Jesus, everything is maximized. Yes. One of the ministries that we've been involved with is the YPMA, or the Young Professionals Mission Avenue. It's a, an avenue for the young professionals who are willing to be used by the Holy Spirit to be involved in His missions. And this, this YPMA is not only for the young professionals, but to reach out more people, especially to bring more people at the feet of Jesus. Actually, I remember when I was not into the, the ministry to the group, I feel depressed. But afterwards, someone, someone invited me to go in this ministry, and I'm so happy to be involved in this kind of group, what we call YPMA. We praise the Lord because Brother Nino is one of the witnesses of God and how the Holy Spirit works in him yes. and how God used YPMA for him to come back to Jesus. One of the ministries of YPMA during the time of pandemic, since during that time was there was still lockdown and a lot of people were quarantined in their homes, even with our churches. So there was Hope Channel. We have different media platforms in which nagpick ang mga ministries in social media. Yes, I remember nga, we are inviting a lot of visitors, physicians, and those who have experience, a special experience during the pandemic. And they share it to others, to the viewers, what their realization about the pandemic. And we are glad that God is working to their hearts. Aside from that YPMA show, we have been uplifting each other's spirits for us not to be depressed in this time of pandemic. We could really experience a glimpse of heaven. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to experience where the people around you have the same mindset with you and just so in love with Jesus. I remember when in Jesus' times, mm -hmm. uh, people gathered together in one place mm -hmm. worshiping the Lord. And it seems that it feels like refreshing. Mm -hmm. When you are depressed, when you are down, when, you, when, when no one around you, and, but in that particular time, when, they, when people, when the disciples and people saw Jesus, talking about Jesus, and they are renewed in that particular time. Amen. Another ministry yes, that we have been involved is the this, refuge. The refuge. This refuge, the goal of this or the purpose of this yes. is to bring the church to the community, to, to let other people experience that Jesus loved them so much, for them to experience refuge in Jesus because this time pandemic there are a lot of things that or issues that we could experience that we are not expect accepted by the church if we have done this or this or that if we have sinned like this but in this refuge church or we are the church they could experience that they are accepted just like how Jesus accepts each one of us for who we are I remember one time when I'm in that refuge church there's we are divided in few fewer groups and we share a lot of things we share our personal things mm -hmm. and through the holy spirit we are convicted we we are sorrowful to our sins and to think that we need to turn away from sin so that we will be able to uh, to be like jesus to be more like jesus yes actually in this ministry i could realize how great how gracious our god is yes his grace is really so unlimited that even though we are undeserved, but still He gave it to us. Yes, even though we have so many sins, hidden or unhidden, still God loves us. Yes. Another ministry that God allows us to be involved is the Strings for Christ. In this ministry, God allows us to visit other churches and use His word through song to search to share his love to them yes during that time that we can already go back to churches we grabbed that opportunity to visit churches from different places we travel from place to place every Sabbath to uplift 
each members of the churches and throughout our mission trips or journey during the church visitations times even at this moment we're actually doing church visitations we have observed that there are a lot of people that have not came back to church already because they were hopeless already and there were a lot of questions in their minds about what's happening in the world today and through these scripture songs uh, with the hope and um, refuge in these songs God brings God penetrates into their hearts and bring hope yes at first there are a lot of people who were preventing us or telling us to stop doing church visitations because it's not safe especially the COVID is still there but the Holy Spirit still convicts our hearts to go and share the love of Jesus as we continue to do church visitations we have noticed and we have discovered our purpose our main purpose and we have seen that we really have to maximize the love of Jesus to really extend the experience of having Jesus in our hearts and also in uplifting the youth of our churches because we have discovered there are really a lot of members who were already spiritually weak and they really need to be uplifted they really need to be reminded of the love of Jesus the cause of the pandemic is really devastating because there's emptiness going on right now that only God can feel aside from doing church visitations God allows us to, to, to connect with our brothers and sisters especially to the youth for them to be, be nurtured with the word of the Lord we've been doing the Bible study online yes we've been conducting youth conventions training young missionaries for Christ and actually in this kind of church visitation we will know what what they need and what they are lacking and God when we ask God for the Holy Spirit God provide Jesus is really our greatest provider and what we need we don't need to do much effort mm -hmm. but we just need to depend on him depend and surrender to him everything yeah I remember one time when we visited one church in Bago City and the youth are few few and they are lacking Bibles afterwards after we went home and we do Bible study online we saw them that they are using one Bible and we pray to God asking God to provide the Bible but but unexpectedly God provide more than what he asked for yes, actually so, he tripled it yes we asked for five Bibles but God provides us 15 Bibles and more with two ukuleles and one one guitar you know, God allows allows it to happen God provides all to them and we praise the Lord for everything because he never fails to impress us of how powerful he is and how gracious he is and his mercies are really new every morning and great is thy faithfulness because God is really working in our hearts and our minds if we allow him to enter in our hearts God will really use us for his glory another ministry is this music ministry in which in this time of pandemic we have observed that a lot of people were being hopeless and we were convicted with the Holy Spirit to record songs and post it in social media to sing songs that are hopeful with the message of the Lord especially in the scriptures yes actually in this ministry we are getting our song from the Bible and we sing it together it will remind us of how the Lord loved each one of us we should not really fear for anything especially in this time of pandemic we have to stand together and be united as one with one accord of love especially in sharing Jesus to others and making ourselves available for his service in this pandemic God allows it to happen for us to be get closer to him to magnify his love and actually appreciate how powerful he is in our life We praise the Lord for this another opportunity, the Upward Pedals. And through this kind of ministry, we can able to be involved in different kind of places. 
through our bikes as as uh, it uses to extend the places uh, that we'll be sharing Jesus to others. Yes, we've been sharing the love of Jesus, His good news that He's coming very soon, and we bring the church to the people through this bike ministry. We're actually blessed that time because a lot of our testimonies from the people that we've reached, it's been a long time that they have not went to church. So it's a great time that we have to bring the church to them and to share the Jesus to them, that they may also experience how the Lord loved each one of us and how the Lord accepts us for who we are if we just come to Him. If you have a bike or an ordinary bike, you can join us to be a part of this ministry. You know? And let God use you to bring the love, of, the love of the Lord through this kind of ministry. And this time the question is, how can we be missionaries in this time of pandemic? It's easy. You just need a heart of a missionary. Yes, a heart that is willing, a heart that is available for Jesus. A heart that is open to use by the Lord and to become an instrument of His glory. Yes, being a missionary is all about uplifting Christ. It's all about being involved in the mission that God has commissioned us to do. Yes, as we wait for His coming, we are reminded in the scripture that we must run the race with patience that is set before us. Yes, and in Isaiah, we are being reminded that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as high as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, in whatever situation you are in, let us experience the peace and eternal joy that can only be found in Jesus. And the question is, are you willing to be used by the Lord today? Brothers and sisters in Christ, the mission continues. There's no limit to the usefulness of the one who put himself aside, making room for the working of the Holy Spirit upon his heart and live a life wholly consecrated to God. We need men who are willing to be used by the Holy Spirit. Men in prayer, men mighty in prayer. Yes, we need men who are willing to take risks for Jesus, especially this time of pandemic. And it's not about our abilities, but our availability for Him. The, the mission, mission continues. continues. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God.